Good day mga kabuwis. This topic is very quick lang, no? Authority to print. Ano ba ito? nag expire ba ito? Kung nag expire man, ilang buwan, ilang taon? Let's see, no? One of the things that you need to, that you would need, no? In completely registering your business is actually securing principal and supplementary receipts or invoices. Yan po yung mga resibo, no? As always, tirahin natin ang topic using legal basis, no? As per RMO, or that is Revenue Memorandum Order Number 12, Dash 2013 issued last uh, or dated May 2, 2013, uh, which prescribes the, the work around guidelines and procedures in the processing of authority to print official receipts, sales invoices, and other commercial invoices. No, in the interim period until the online ATP system pursuant to the no less than revenue regulations number 18-2012 is fully developed. Sila sabi dito no in 2A that only BIR accredited printers ang authorized to print no principal and supplementary receipts and invoices that is pursuant to revenue regulations number 15-2012 however printers that were issued professional accreditation number shall also be allowed to print yung principal and supplementary receipts or invoices subcontracting no to non-accredited printers is strictly prohibited. That means na hindi po pwedeng mag-design or mag-print ng principal and supplementary receipts or invoices mo na sarili mo. Na naisipan mo yung design, then ipiprint mo, no? Okay, then i-issue mo sa mga clients mo. Ang dami niya, no? yung, mga, yung mga nabibili sa Lazada, yung nag-generate lang no? and uh, yung online applications, so ang dami, no? Maling-mali po yon no? Lahat ng principal and supplementary receipts or invoices dapat ay registered with a BIR and printed by accredited printer. Now, kung ikaw ay may mga sariling printed na resibo mo without ATP, pakitago o sirain, lahat po ito, no? ba matsyempuhan ka pa ni BIR, ba may bumisita dyan or may kunwari bumili sa establishment mo or may mag-order sa'yo online tapos nakita hindi pala or hindi pala valid ang iyong principal and supplementary receipts or invoices mo, medyo and definitely matetechnical ka, no? Or baka may bumili dyan na concerned taxpayer nakita na you are not issuing the correct uh, receipts, eh, baka isuplong ka, no? So, malaki po ang penalties niyan. For detailed penalties, we'll cover that in another video, no? Kasi medyo marami talaga siya. Now, let's go back. Now, if you have your ATP na, or the authority to print, I'm reminding you guys, mga kabuis, that it has expiration period. Ilang taon? Five years po. Kailan nag-start? Kailan mag-start ang bilang? From the date po ng issuance nung ATP mo. Ang next na tanong dyan, paano pag nag-expire or malapit na mag-expire? No? According dun sa Bureau of Internal Revenues, uh, Revenue Memorandum Order or RMO Number 12-2013, again issued last uh, May 2, 2013, a taxpayer with uh, expiring principal and supplementary receipts or invoices shall apply po ng bagong ATP not later than 60 days prior dun sa actual expiration date. Okay? Lahat ng unused, expired, expiring receipts or invoices, isurrender po yan together with an inventory listing dun sa BIR office having jurisdiction po over your place, over your place of business, or over the place for destruction on or before the 10th day after the validity period of the expired receipts or invoices. Okay? Yung bang business owners dyan or practitioner, no? O, tingnan natin. Would say na, ah, sayang naman. Bakit ko i -re Hindi ko pa nga nagagamit. Hindi ko pa nga nababawasan, eh. Non-operating kami. Paano ko yan magagamit? Okay, ang sagot po doon, yes po, no doubt. Kailangan po nating sumunod. Kailangan nyo po yung i-renew. Okay? Kung nag-aalinlangan ka or medyo di ka sigurado sa proseso, ask for help, no? Marami po diyan. Careful lang tayo, no, sa mga, mga modus nila, no? Others others would offer you yung cheaper professional fees for yung processing ng ATP mo, 
pero kilatisen no baka iiyak tayo sa huli no dapat yung presyong reasonable lang no all right again kailangan po natin mag-comply failure kasi to comply with the above RMO would subject us no would subject the taxpayer from compromise penalties ranging from 1000 pesos to 50000 pesos ito pa ang matindi imprisonment of not less than 4 years all right gets ba yon mga kabuhis Okay, sana may natutunan, no? Sige po. Please like and subscribe no, to our YouTube channel, Kabuis Pilipinas. And papress na rin yung bell icon to, uh, syempre, to get new video updates. No? You may also like our Facebook page, Par Excellence Tax and Accounting Services. Visit also our website no, at www.parexcellenceph.com May contact us po doon. You may send your questions or kung ano man po yung recommendation ninyo, no? or any topic na gusto niyong i-discuss natin. And let us see. 'Yun lang 'no, busy, uh, busy season ngayon, tax season. Mag-final mag-finalize na tayo ng balances. File it and pay corresponding tax thereon. Sobrang kailangan po ng government. The government needs funds 'no to facilitate and definitely execute 'yung ating mga government projects. All right? 'Yun lang and yeah, definitely enjoy the busy tax season. God bless.